Hello everyone, happy Halloween. Uh, it's my favorite time of the year, but not even the spooky atmosphere can stop this crippling depression. I've read a few books since we've last met, and I'd like to talk about them. The first book I read was The Cipher by Kathy Koja, and the summary is as follows. Nicholas, a would-be poet, and Nakoda, his feral lover, discover a strange hole in the storage room floor down the hall. Black, pure black, and the sense of pulsation, especially when you look at it too closely, the sense of something not living but alive. It begins with curiosity, a joke, the fun hole down the hall, but then the experiments begin. Wouldn't it be wild to go down there, says Nakoda. Nicholas says, we're not, but they're not in control, not from the first moment as those experiments lead to obsession, violence, and a very final transformation for everyone who gets too close to the fun hole. It took me so long to finish this book. Um, I just could not get into it. I think Kathy Koja is a great writer, but her writing is very stylized and almost disjointed. Um, and I felt too stupid, really, to keep up with the book. Uh, I sat down to write a breakdown of this book since it's on my Disturbing Books iceberg list, but I just couldn't, um, I felt the pacing was too slow and too fast at the same time. Um, I listened to the audiobook of this, and if I stopped paying attention, if my mind wandered for just a second, I was completely lost. The entire book is very ambiguous, and that's not something that typically bothers me, but here it just felt frustrating. Uh, Nicholas and Nakoda are scumbags, by the way. There's not a single likable character in this book. Um, and I don't know, maybe that's another reason why... I didn't really connect with it as much as I thought I would. Um, again, that's not something that typically bothers me. I can like some unlikable characters. Uh, but yeah, that all being said, if you're into body horror and gooey stuff like that, then you'll probably enjoy this book. If I had to rate this book, I would rate it two reanimated severed human hands out of five. The next bit of media I consumed was a BBC audio presentation of The Collector by John Fowles. Um, I really couldn't find a good summary for this book, so I'll just give my own brief summary here. Uh, the book centers around a lonely young man who likes to collect butterflies named Frederick and his obsession with a beautiful art student named Miranda. One day, Frederick wins a large sum of money and decides he is going to kidnap Miranda and force her to love him back. I thought the story was fine. Um, I'm interested in reading the actual book. Um, Miranda keeps a diary, so it's fun to go back and listen to her side of the story, what actually happened, as opposed to Frederick's interpretation of, it, of events. I don't have much to say about it. The performances were incredible. Judy Dench plays Miranda, and Nigel Anthony plays Frederick. Um, I will definitely be checking out the actual book, and I recommend you do too. Or, if you're pressed for time, the audio presentation was really good, and it's only about an hour and a half. Um, if I had to rate the audio presentation, I would give it three posh British accents out of five. The last book I read was the novelization of the 2018 Halloween movie. Um, the summary is as follows, and holy run-on sentences, Batman. In 1978, Laurie Strode survived an encounter with Michael Myers, a masked figure who killed her friends and terrorized the town of Haddonfield, Illinois, on Halloween night. Myers was later gunned down, apprehended, and committed to Smith's Grove State Hospital. For 40 years, memories of that nightmarish ordeal have haunted Laurie, and now Myers is back again on Halloween, having escaped a routine transfer, leaving a trail of bodies in his wake. This time, Laurie is prepared with years of survival training to protect herself, her daughter Karen, and her granddaughter Allison, a teenager separated from her family and enjoying Halloween festivities. I don't know if it was just the spooky atmosphere all around me, but I quite enjoyed listening to this novelization. Obviously, if you've seen the movie, the novel isn't really going to give you anything new, but it was still fun. Um, if you liked the movie, which I did well enough, then you'll probably enjoy giving this a read. If I had to rate this book, 
I'd give it 3.5 glasses of strawberry milk out of 5. So those are the books I read over the past month. Um, I'm hoping to do a breakdown pretty soon. I just hit over 40 subscribers and that's so exciting to me. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's about it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.